Run, 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 run. Please, there's no reason to come in here full guns blazing. Please run. As my courtesy, all expenses paid, please just take the night off. They aren't even here tonight, Cody and Dustin. They aren't even here. So please, Brock, just take the night off, chillax, relax, do something you like. Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown, and to kick the show off, we'll be having a match between Kofi Kingston and Lars Sullivan, so let's see this match. And now, making his way to the ring from Ghana, West Africa, Kofi Kingston! So Kofi Kingston, a former United States Champion in the company, the first ever, obviously, his title reign came to a sad ending as he was taken out with a leg injury in 2019. But Kofi Kingston did make his return in 2020 and he did get his United States title match against Adam Cole over on Instagram but he did come up short in that exchange between himself and Adam Cole. Himself, Cesaro, Kofi and Chris Jericho did team up together to take on the Undisputed Era in the past but now Kofi has a big roadblock in the way as he's taking on the undefeated un hinged Lars Sullivan. Speaking of the man making his way to the ring, Lars Sullivan. So Sullivan on an impressive win streak at the moment, defeating two legends in the business in the form of Sting and Mick Foley. But Sullivan looks to add another tick to the list of the wins that he has been building up. Lars Sullivan currently undefeated in the company. Will Kofi Kingston look to defeat so, uh, Lars Sullivan's undefeated streak here tonight. We'll just have to find out when this match gets on the way as the freak Lars Sullivan makes his way down to the ring tonight on Friday Night Smackdown. So this match is about to get on the way as the two men, they go for each other, clothesline dodge, and now a kick to the side of the head by Kofi. Kofi coming in strong, taking out the larger man with a huge kick to the side of the head. Now Kofi, running off the ropes, gets caught with a huge clothesline from Sullivan. The freak, Lars Sullivan, just taking out Kofi with that huge arm of his. That huge clothesline from Lars to take out the former United States Champion, Kingston. And now Lars Sullivan, he's got him set up. And now a clothesline to the back of the neck. The front and back of Kofi Kingston's neck being targeted in this assault by the freak, Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan just taking out. Kofi at the moment, and I think Lars Sullivan, he's going for it, he's going for a freak accident, freak accident from the freak, Lars Sullivan, just to take out Kofi Kingston with a huge freak accident, and Lars now heading up to the top, diving headbutt, diving headbutt by Lars, one, two, three, and just like that, Lars Sullivan defeats Kofi Kingston here tonight, and with a show of disrespect from Lars, just putting his foot on top of Kofi Kingston to show that disrespectful attitude of Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan adding another win to his repertoire here tonight on SmackDown. Woo! Hey Shane, how you been man? Yeah, I've been doing great, Rick. Well, what's up tonight? Shane, woo! I wanted to introduce you to my new client, Big E. Hello, Shane. Oh, hello, Big E. Thank you for joining the SmackDown roster, and I hope you do great things over here. Thanks, 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 Shane. Woo! Big E, you are going to do big things when there's big wings and big wins to win. Big E will get the job done. Woo!
And so coming up now is a singles match between one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions Dean Ambrose taking on Kyle O'Reilly. So let's check this match out at the ringside area tonight. And now making their way to the ring, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions Dean Ambrose. So Ambrose and Reigns obviously defeating Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at the Doomsday pay-per-view, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn no longer a team, if you saw last week, as they lost to the Undisputed Era, Kevin Owens turning on his tag team partner, but now tonight, Dean Ambrose has to take on the new number one contenders to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the Undisputed Era, but taking on specifically Kyle O'Reilly here tonight, Ambrose makes his way down to the ring, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions makes his presence known as he makes his way down to the Squared Sucker here tonight on SmackDown. Roman Reigns obviously accompanying his tag team partner. Ambrose getting a huge reaction from the crowd. The crowd seems to be liking this man as he's been on fire recently with those couple wins he's been having in his, in his prime. But now, here coming down to the ring representing the Undisputed Era Kyle O'Reilly. So yes, if you did tune in to last week's episode of SmackDown, you would have seen a number one contendership match between Kevin Owens and Zayn and the Undisputed Era. Undisputed Era coming up on top, putting them at the top of the SmackDown Tag Team Division. The contenders, the challengers for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships are these two men. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, but Kyle O'Reilly tonight takes on one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Dean Ambrose, in the middle of the ring here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. The Undisputed Era being on top recently as Adam Cole, the leader, has also been retaining his United States Championship. As this match gets underway, both men, here we go, call an elbow tie up from the two men. Now Ambrose pushing him into the ropes, setting out Bulldog, a huge Bulldog from one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Dean Ambrose, with that huge Bulldog to Kyle O'Reilly. Now O'Reilly is up, Ambrose setting up for a clothesline, Ambrose going for clothesline, duck, knee strike! And now O'Reilly working on the arm of Ambrose, just working on Ambrose's arm here tonight in this match. Reigns watching on and his partner gets his arm worked on O'Reilly with a strikes and now a knee strike. Multiple strikes. Now O'Reilly setting up for something huge. Close line from Ambrose. Now Ambrose working on the head, neck and head of O'Reilly just to take him down to the ground. Ambrose now getting his way back up to his feet. Neck breaker. Huge neck breaker from Ambrose to take out Kyle O'Reilly. Here in the night in the middle of the square circle, the undisputed errors color really been taken out by Dean Ambrose. Now, Ambrose sets it up in the corner. Huge clothesline from Ambrose. Ambrose coming with that unstable, relentless style that he possesses. Dean Ambrose going in for it. And now Ambrose looking to set up for something. Dean Ambrose has got him in the position for a move here. Kyle O'Reilly has nowhere to go. Kyle O'Reilly countering it into a bulldog of his own. That bulldog takes out Dean Ambrose, giving him a taste of his own medicine in a night. And now the armbar. The armbar is locked in from O'Reilly. O'Reilly locking in the armbar. Ambrose has nowhere to go. Ambrose has nowhere to go. He must submit the armbar being cinched in from Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly cinches in that armbar. But oh man, this match has been fast paced and it's relentless as so far. And now Ambrose has him up. Power bomb into the corner. And now gets him in the kick. Gets him with a kick. He's going for a paradigm shift. One, two, three. That paradigm shift just putting away Kyle O'Reilly here tonight as Dean Ambrose is our victor. Dean Ambrose with a huge victory over the number one contender, Kyle O'Reilly, one half of the number one contenders. This obviously knocks them back a few notches, maybe making them have to reconsider the game plan going into the Vengeance pay-per-view for SmackDown to see if they can even take the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. But what a great victory for one half. In the hey Shane, I'm really sick and tired of Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era going around and thinking they can do what they want. So. Shane, I'm actually here to ask you for a shot at Adam Cole's United States Championship. Now, Chris, you know I just can't give you 
a shot, unfortunately. So you have to earn it. Next week, you and two others will take on the Undisputed Era in a six-man tag. If you and your team can win, you can have that title shot. Okay, Shane, thanks for the opportunity. Hey, you. Glasses. You want to be on my team for next episode? I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Fictees UK, your one-stop shop for all your professional wrestling figure t-shirt needs. If you like the shirts you see in the show, please use code GSD15 for 15% off at figtees.co.uk. That is code GSD15 for 15% off. Any order of $4.99. Please welcome my guest at this moment, Hangman Adam Page. So Page, you're looking to make an impact next week when you take on Shinsuke Nakamura. What are your thoughts on taking on Nakamura? Well, me and Nakamura have crossed paths before in Japan, but not in SmackDown or in GSD Wrestling. So taking on Nakamura would be an honor, but it will also be a proving ground. As if I can defeat Nakamura, it would put me further up the card, where I deserve to be. And me being a cowboy and all, after I win my match next episode, I'm going to have a little drink backstage just to celebrate. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, and so coming up now is a tag team match between Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. the Lucha Bros and Tucker and Otis of Heavy Machinery. So let's check this match out tonight. And now, making their way to the ring from Mexico, Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix, the Lucha Bros. So the Lucha Bros with their no fear, zero fear attitude are taking on heavy machinery here tonight. Pentagon Jr. obviously being in the company before this and Ray Phoenix makes his SmackDown episodic debut here tonight. Pentagon obviously being in the world title tournament a few months ago and over on Instagram but making his episodic debut is Ray Phoenix. Sierra Mero on display from these men. These men have no fear in the ring and they sure hell has to prove it tonight as they're taking on men much bigger than them in the form of heavy machinery two big lugs that they have to take on here tonight speaking of them making their way to the ring Tucker Knight and Otis heavy machinery so heavy machinery obviously being involved in that battle role same as the Lucha Bros, the Battle Royal before the Doomsday Pay-Per-View, which Cody Rhodes did end up winning, but Heavy Machinery looking to gain some, maybe in the upper hand here tonight, if they do end up defeating the Lucha Bros, but we'll have to find out who wins this match when we get down to it. Heavy Machinery at a combined weight of over 600 pounds, these two big large men are going to take on the speed and the agility of Lucha Bros. We'll have to see how this match plays out as Otis and Tucker make their way down to the ring here tonight in their SmackDown debuts alongside Ray Phoenix also making his SmackDown episodic debut here tonight. But we'll have to see who wins in this tag team contest as this match gets underway. Corner now by tie up. Tucker just close lining Phoenix into the corner. Tucker, the larger man, obviously, per capita, the heavy machinery are larger in comparison to the Lucha Bros. But as we all know, size does not matter when it comes to the wrestling business. Things have changed and evolved. As we're seeing him as Ray Phoenix with a huge Hurricane Rana. The Hurricane Rana to Tucker. And now jumping over, float over, super kick. Super kick by Phoenix just to take out the larger man. And now a flip over the rope. That springboard off the top rope from Ray Phoenix just to take out Tucker in the middle of the ring. Now Ray Phoenix jumping off. Huge drop kick off the top rope from Phoenix. Phoenix now taunting to the crowd. Phoenix is feeling the energy. And so is the GSD Universe super kick. Here tonight on SmackDown. Ray Phoenix taking the fight to Tucker. And I think Phoenix is going for a Mexican destroyer, but Tucker catches him up. 
Tucker catches him up. Huge Alabama slam from Tucker. The Alabama slam to take out Ray Phoenix. Now Otis getting in the tag from Tucker. Otis looking to make his big impact here tonight as Ray Phoenix gets back to his vertical base. And here comes Otis. Huge clothesline from the dozer. Otis Dojovic here tonight. Otis just taking out Ray Phoenix in the middle of the ring. Pentagon Jr. just watching on and now Otis goes to the ropes. Huge splash from the big man. The huge splash from Otis just to take out Ray Phoenix and I. This match has been fast paced and amazing. Two clashing styles and now Otis sets up Ray Phoenix in the corner. I wonder what he's going for. Cutter! A huge cutter counter from Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix countering Otis's move into a cutter off the rope. The fast speed and agility of the Lucha Bros on display here tonight. And oh man, Sierra Nero Pentagon Jr. wants in this match. Pentagon gets the tag in. The tag in to Jr. Pentagon Jr. I wonder what he's going to do here. Sierra Nero Pentagon telling Otis he has zero fear of him. Pentagon in the middle of the ring. Super kick. Huge super kick with that back foot straight to the head of Otis. The height of Otis must be hurting from that super kick. Now Tucker wants to tag in, but here comes Pentagon, Mexican Destroyer. The Mexican Destroyer from Pentagon Jr. My God, here we go. And now he set him in the middle of the ring. Huge arm snap straight to Otis. That arm snap just taking the arm of Otis and just destroying it and now Tucker wants to tag in super kick huge super kick from Pentagon to take out the larger man and oh man I think they're looking for it the finish the finisher connects from Pentagon Jr. the finisher connecting one two three and just like that Zero Nero coming true the zero fear attitude gets these two men the win here tonight Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix knocking themselves up the tag team division here tonight. Knocking themselves up a few notches on the SmackDown tag team division here tonight. Of Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. with an impressive victory here on SmackDown. Congratulations to these two men. Please welcome my guest at this moment, the Swiss Superman, Cesaro. So Cesaro, coming up in loss against Adam Cole, what are you looking to do next in this company? But before you answer that question, Cesaro, how many opportunities have you had at the United States title? I can count them. One, two, two opportunities, and you failed. Why don't you move aside and let people like me, Kevin Owens, get an opportunity once in a while? Well, Kevin, if you want that opportunity, you have to beat me. Next week on SmackDown, since you think you're so strong and you think you're so tough, why don't you take me on? next week. The challenge is accepted, bud. But make sure to come full guns blazing as I'm going to stun your head off and stun the world. And they will see the true Kevin Owens. Keep talking. Keep talking. We'll see what happens next week when your head will be uppercutted onto the ground by the Swiss Superman. Oh, tensions building up backstage, but let's go down to the ringside area to see what's going on. And so coming up now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson will be speaking to the audience. Lo, well, let's see what Dwayne has to say by heading down to the ringside area. It's always nice to be back in this city, but I've got a bone to pick tonight. If you last saw me on SmackDown, you will remember I was refereeing Triple H versus Brock Lesnar and a certain someone decided to put me in a cross jacket as he calls it. So what I'm proposing is carrying cross I want you to get your candy ass out here and face me like a man. The Rock prayers are being answered as carrying cross confronting him in the middle of the ring what will cross have to say for himself? Rock you are running a borrowed time, and that time will be up. Tick, tock, fear, carrion, cross.
cross. Now, 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 The Rock never backs down from a challenge. So if it's a challenge you're proposing, I will give you a challenge. Karrion Cross versus The Rock at the Vengeance pay-per-view. And now, now, not in any normal match. I want you in a last man standing match. And if you ain't the bald, bird-looking bitch that you think you are, then step up and face me. Your challenge is accepted. Die, Rock. You will die at the hands of Carrion Cross. So these two men looking for a fight at the Vengeance pay-per-view. Woo, Chris, I heard you're looking for a, a partner for a next episode. Well, my client, Big E, will sure to be offer his services to you. I really appreciate that, Rick. E. Thanks, man. Now that I've rounded off my team, let's get to kicking these stupid fool's asses. What do you say, Rick? Woo! What a good plan, Chris. What a good plan. And coming up now is our main event of the evening, where Goldberg will be taking on MVP tonight. So let's catch this match. And now, making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. The MVP making his way down to the ring tonight as he has to take on the biggest challenge so far in his career in GSD Wrestling. Obviously, MVP in the past taking on Alistair Black and Apollo Crews, but this man is nothing like Alistair Black and Apollo Crews. This man he's taking tonight is Goldberg. Goldberg, an absolute titan in the wrestling business, and an absolute titan in general, has to face MVP tonight. MVP, cold and calculated in the ring. MVP does have the skill set to beat Goldberg if he puts them in the right way. Speaking of the man, the titan, making his way to the ring, Bill Goldberg! So Bill Goldberg, or Goldberg for short, making his way down to the ring. The legend that is Goldberg. There is always a sudden law around Goldberg whenever he makes his presence known in any arena, in any fed, in any business. This man has obviously got the repertoire and he's got the power, speed, and skills to do some serious damage in a night as the Titan. Bill Goldberg makes his way down to the ring tonight to take on MVP in his first match ever on SmackDown episodes. Goldberg making his SmackDown in-ring debut on the episodes, but Goldberg obviously having loads of matches in the past. As this match gets underway, Goldberg with a huge spear! The spear straight out of the gate from the Titan Goldberg! The huge spear from the man that is known as Bill Goldberg! Just taking out MVP with a huge spear is Goldberg. Goldberg telling MVP to get up. He's looking for a second spear. The spe second spear from Goldberg. Now MVP is back up onto his feet from that first spear. And MVP throwing Goldberg shoulder first into the ring post. My God. Goldberg has got to be in some pain by putting that shoulder straight into the ring post. And now Goldberg spear. Goldberg fights through the pain. Goldberg, his whole shoulder just hitting into that ring post, but manages to clamorate and clobber back with a huge spear to MVP. Now Goldberg sets up MVP in the middle of the ring with the jackhammer, but he's pointing at Bobby Lashley. Obviously, Bobby Lashley putting Goldberg in the heart lock last episode. Bobby Lashley getting a message sent to him. Here we go. Jackhammer! Jackhammer from the Titan Goldberg. Goldberg with a huge jackhammer to MVP to finish this match off. One, two, three, and it's all over. Here is your winner, Goldberg. So Goldberg making the message clear to Bobby Lashley that he wants his fight against him. Bobby Lashley and Goldberg just staring each other down tonight. Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. This is going to be an insane clash at the Vengeance pay-per-view when these two men will be taking on each other. But what an amazing match we just had here tonight.